It's impressions about blindness that are far more threatening to blind people than the blindness itself. Think for a moment about your own impressions or the prospect of your own blindness or a loved one going blind. The terror is incomprehensible because blindness is thought to epitomize ignorance and unawareness. The methods that orientation and mobility instructors use to teach the blind are very outdated and they were created by people who can see. Therefore, these are people who do not rely on these techniques to survive their everyday life. When people are guiding you in Japan, they guide you by the cane, right? Yes, that's <laughs> no like point. That's like covering your eyes. <laughs> Conventions are maintained only by our beliefs. For instance, I am the first totally blind certified mobility specialist, and now we train others. But many still believe you have to be able to see to teach blind people how to be blind. What happens when we dare to fly against convention, changing our beliefs and challenging everything we think we know? Visioneers, a division of World Access for the Blind. Our vision is sound. Our method is science. Our results change lives. Never in my life could I have imagined that human beings could learn to see with sound, like bats and dolphins. A number of research projects have shown that people who are blind um, are in some ways redeploying the visual brain in such a way that they are truly seeing and appreciating the world around them and that that visual brain does light up. Our version of echolocation, if you will, flash sonar, means that a flash of sound, in our case, a flash of energy, is used to solicit echoes from the environment that are then used for navigation. For me personally, this has been a really great experience because I've been working on the echolocation of bats uh, and we've only recently started working on echolocation with humans. Now having Daniel here around is like almost being able to talk to a bat. We asked him to draw a picture, to recreate from memory the image he got from nothing more than the sound of clicks. I'll just do a little dash line here. And remember, he had never set foot in this pavilion before today. The accuracy of the image is uncanny. Should I say ta-da? Ta-da! Batman, in his original incarnation, made himself his powers and his status came from developing himself out of his own humanity, out of his own personhood, his own character. This could be true for any flesh and blood human being. You don't have to come from Krypton to make the most of who you are. Moved it. I did, huh? I can't understand how Daniel moves around so well and does things as if he had his sight. What I want the most is for Daniel to teach Kimberly to move around like he does. Victor is five years old and it was the first time for him to have a mobility and echolocation training. So he did not have his own white cane. And we had to make do with my cane which was too long for him. Oh, yeah, it's a tree. Where did you get this back Since Victor was new to echolocation, I thought of teaching him echolocation by clapping against a book. Okay, I got something very solid here. Very solid here? Yeah. 
Okay. Um, tall or short? Tall. Taller than me. And you're looking for? A tall, solid object. A tall, solid object. <laughs> and I've touched you... it. There yeah. it is. All right. You found it. <laughs> It's opening up you know, each day that we do the training, so to now be able to tell the difference between something that's pretty solid versus something which maybe isn't so dense or is a bit sparser, it's just it's absolutely unbelievable. And I was just very impressed at myself there. And I think it's just, the whole technique's just fantastic. These skills are things that blind people don't typically have access to. And it's, it's the most empowering feeling when you've got somebody who's with you and who is also blind and who's saying, yeah, you can do this, you can do this. It's, it's one of the most empowering experiences I've ever had in my life. And it's not like somebody comes and then all of a sudden you can do everything. You have to keep working at it. It's gradually going taller. Yes. And then goes across. Yeah. And then it's gradually coming back down again. Yes. That's amazing. It, I can like see the car. You can see it in your mind. Holy mother. <laughs> <laughs> I still sometimes shake my head when I think about the fact that that kid who got pulled out of PE who was so clumsy and uncoordinated and couldn't catch a ball and ended up at the Paralympics. and Lisa Sweetie. One of the things I didn't like about tandem cycling was that my success or failure was based on my sighted pilot as much as on myself. One lap to go for Marcelais and I wanted to know that win or lose, it's because of my own abilities. So that's part of why I wanted to ride my own bike. <laughs> my goal is to ride to work. I'm not sure how realistic or how safe, but Dan can do it, so if he can do it, then eventually I hope that I can too. What do you think? Something's here. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, now, if you come, Nathan, if you come to me, I want to show you how this echo mirror works, okay? So, we have to go further away. So let's keep going further away. Is it open? Is it narrow? Open, narrow. It's narrow. It is narrow, yeah. Well, at least the path. Yeah, the path is narrow. And when will it get more open? Once we uh, get here. Very nice. Crack the boundaries of those houses. Good job. I'm gonna come fast. Okay. I'll show you when I'm gonna hit the sun. That's when I hit the sun. Yeah, I can echo that. I can't stop my fault. Cell phone. We're passing a... Uh, another car? Another car. He's trying to put a puzzle together. He's trying to put the environment together, the near and the big picture. And he had questions about what was out there, how it relates to the school, how it relates to the road. While we're going this way, do you think we're going towards Enterprise Avenue? He wants to know. Where am I? Okay. Try, now, you, give, give us your power click, see if you can hear the building still. No, no building. His personality drives him to know, to understand, to experience, and he has no fear. And he doesn't mind a bit of mishap. I mean, I've seen him crash and burn on a number of occasions, and it does not phase him. He just doesn't care. All right, here's a hill. Follow me. All right. Those are pretty powerful combination of characteristics that will just drive a person forward. 
go right, this way. A lot of these kids are heavily supported, so they'll never really be stranded or high and dry. I mean, if you shut down your entire navigational system, someone's going to step in and navigate you. So we kind of undo all of that in our training, bit by bit, to reawaken and reactivate the navigational system. Yep, yeah, we're heading towards the building. How can I fit through there? That's not the way. It sharply defines the surroundings as the echoes bounce back. When those reflections are maximized, what you end up with is a kind of three-dimensional fuzzy geometry. And it's fuzzy in the sense that it doesn't have the exact sharp-edged definition that optical vision will give you. I have no vision at all. I have no light perception. And I've been this way since I was born. I worked with her for seven days. She went from anxiety attacks about leaving her front door alone. By the end of those seven days, it was getting to the mall on her own and enjoying doing her own shopping. Since learning echolocation, I now have true choice. I'm not abjectly terrified of traveling independently. Oh, what is it? Let's go check it out. 19-year-old Justin Luchard is navigating his way through over a mile of Colorado wilderness using only his powers of echolocation. Justin has now reached the dense forest section of the course where he will have to navigate without touching any trees. What are you seeing? Well, so I know that there's an object and I know that there's a really solid object with divots in it. And I know that because when the sound comes back, it comes back very clearly and it shakes. And I know that it's harder than wood. So I'm gonna bet that this is a rock. And... Oh, he got it. it! I was just flabbergasted. I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing because I didn't think that was ever, ever possible. It's hugely gratifying to us to see the transition, especially when you consider two weeks ago he couldn't take a step on his own. We have shown him that you can make your own decisions. You can do what you want to do. You can go where you want to go. Most importantly, what we have given Rio is hope. Like, if human beings can see with sound what else is possible. Echolocation gave me real connection to my physical environment, which then gave me greater freedom to my social environment. The better I was at mobility, the easier it was to make friends and to do things with people. One, two, one, two, three, four. Everybody has something to learn from echolocation, and that is that we all are capable of so much more than we previously thought. We are really living in a new era of exploring the question, what can blind people see? I mean, it's sort of a temporary state because now we can actually teach our brains to image acoustically. People often ask me, Brian, do you wish you could see? And my response is, I already can. That's our hope for Hamoudi is that he's going to, as an adult, he's just going to be able to just power through life like he does now, but you know, at a, basically without anybody helping him. People get stereotypes from what they think. So what I do is I show people that they're wrong. And I do my normal stuff. And that is blown to pieces of a bunch of stereotypes. I go out there and I run through them. So go with your heart. Get out there, do something, you know? Don't just sit there thinking you can't do anything, because you can. Like if you guys can see with your eyes, and we um, can see with our ears. Three, two, one, go! This obstacle course is not just poles, it is a goal. And the bigger the goal, the more obstacles you face. And on the other side of that goal is victory. Un Guinness World Record. Stop. Elora! 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 È stato bellissimo vederlo qua. Ti se puede! 
Si se puede, si se puede, yes, you can.